everybody. My name is Dave Kuby. I'm the director of the Public Library in West Orange, and I'm going to read to you one of my favorite books for kids called Tell the Truth, B.B. Wolf. And it's written by Judy Sierra, and it's illustrated by Jato Siebold. I love that name. And it's published by Alfred A. Knopf in New York. Tell the Truth, B.B. Wolf. It's a good theme for today. People need to tell the truth. Saturday was fix-it-up day at the Villain Villa. The big bad wolf and his chums were sawing and hammering and painting. Look, it's the Villain Villa Senior Center. Quiet! shouted B.B. Wolf. I have to answer my phone. And he's got a ringtone that goes, that goes, who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. Hello, said B.B. Wolf. Sure, when? Today? Okay, bye. What's the matter, asked the crocodile. Miss Wonderly invited me to the library. She wants me to tell the story of how I met the three little pigs. I love that story. The troll knew the three little pigs by heart. But I wasn't a hero. You wanted to eat those little piggies, didn't you? Cackled the witch. Put a spin on it, Rumpelstiltskin suggested. Tell it your own way. Give it a happy ending, advised the crocodile. Everyone expects a happy ending these days. I'll try, said B.B. Wolf, and he hurried to change into his best clothes. At the library, Miss Wonderly led B.B. Wolf to a cozy chair in the story corner. B.B. Wolf started off with a song. Hard luck always follows me, and trouble is my middle name. Wrong, squeaked a little voice. Your middle name is B-A-D. And look, they've got all these things, all these signs in the children's library called reading time, and reading is rad. And there's his brothers, the other little pigs hanging out, and the gingerbread man, and the chicken, chicken little, and the mouse. Woo! B.B. Wolf growled. He began again. Hard luck always follows me, and trouble is my middle name. Anytime there is a crime, I'm the one to get the blame. I was gathering flowers one morning, and I picked a big dandelion puff. I blew on it and made a wish. Just then I heard someone shout, You blew down my, you blew my house down. There in the middle of a messy pile of straw stood an angry little piggy. He started chasing me. Tell the truth, B.B. Wolf, oinked someone in the back of the library. Who's telling this story anyway, B.B. BB Wolf asked. All of a sudden, I smelled smoke. I followed my nose and found another little piggy playing with matches next to a pile of sticks. The sticks were on fire, so I blew on them as hard as I could to put out the flames, you understand? Was the piggy grateful? No, he charged toward me. Oh my goodness. Isn't that wolf's snout getting longer? asked Pinocchio. I think it is. I think it is, said the little engine. And the little piggy goes, Tell the truth, B.B. Wolf! Okay, um, maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, I ran until I collapsed in front of a little brick house. I was tired and thirsty, so I banged on the door and begged, Please let me come in. From inside the house, a piggy voice answered, Climb, on, climb up on the roof and slide down my chinny-chin chimney. Mm. 
No one is falling for your story, cracked Humpty Dumpty. It's a cooked up half-baked tail, snapped the gingerbread boy. And there's all the sections in the library, the non-fiction, the fiction, and the total fiction. Tell the truth, baby wolf! And there's Miss Wonderly, the librarian, and she's going through the story of the three little pigs. She's looking a little surprised. So, And Pinocchio is reading it, too. And his... His nose is getting longer just listening to the wolf. B.B. Wolf lit out a dismal huff and a small sad puff. I didn't tell the truth, he groaned. The truth is so embarrassing. And what's important is that I've changed. Really, I have. The three pigs stomped their trotters. Apologize right now, they demanded. B.B. Wolf took a deep breath. I'm... 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 Oh, I can't say it. So I guess I'll have to sing it. Once I was wild and woolly, and I acted like a bully. Now I'm begging on my knees. Little pigs, forgive me, please. Well, said the first little pig, I guess we could forgive you. It did happen a long time ago, said the second little pig. But your middle name is still bad, said the third little pig. Goodness gracious, exclaimed B.B. Wolf. I need a new middle name, don't I? He snagged a dictionary from the library shelf and pawed through the pages. There's a dictionary. And you can find these on online dictionaries now, too. Isn't that amazing? And he found words like bodacious, which means outstanding, remarkable, beard, and bookish, and bowling, and boomerang, and Benevolent, which means wanting to help others. Hmm. Dictionary's got a lot of great stuff in it. That's it, said the wolf. From this day forward, I am the one and only big, bodacious, benevolent, bookish wolf. In fact, I'll borrow some wolf, some books right now. Toodaloo, he called to the three pigs. See you in a few weeks. The wolf hurried home. He read and thought and planned and drew lots of pictures. Those piggies would love their very own mud wallow, commented the crocodile. Why not trim the house with gingerbread, the witch suggested. Working on all kinds of things. How to build a pig house. He's going to do it right. He's drawn plans, schematics. <laughs> He and his chums went to work. In no time at all, the house was finished. Look at that. He made it like a condominium. With one, two, and three doors with their very own stairs to their own very own floors. There's a private mud wall that says, keep out. It's just for the pigs. Friends, said the former menace, it's not enough for me to say, I'm sorry. I have to prove it and repair my reputation. Here is your very own piggyback mansion. And it spells out the words welcome on all three mats. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. One, two, three. Thank you, squealed the three little pigs. And they began to sing, 
The wolf was mean and vicious. He thought piggies were delicious. Then he lied and told a story that was wrong. And he was sorry. Now he's changed. He's not pretending. And that's a very happy ending. The end. And there, they're heading out. Big Bad Wolf and his friends. There's B B B B Wolf and friends. Fairy Tales Remodeled. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you. Hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy the rest of your summer.